Good morning, Pre-K. It's Mac David Jones again this morning. Miss Hilton is with us and Miss Pitts. We are so glad to see y'all this morning. And as we've done every morning, everybody stand up. We're going to say the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, guys. All right, now we're going to get started with a breathing, and I think I want to do balloon breathing this morning. So everybody put your hands on your head and inhale. And breathe. And again, hands on your head. And exhale. All right, so we've been talking about Pete the Cat this morning, and yesterday we read Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Remember, we did numbers yesterday. So do you remember that at the beginning of the story, Pete had four buttons on his shirt. And then those buttons kept popping off. He lost buttons until at the very end, all he had left was his belly button. And he went to the beach in his shirt with his belly button. But remember, Pete did not worry. He said, buttons come and buttons go, but it's all good. So that's the way we need to be, guys. It's all good. This morning, Miss Helton is going to read another Pete the Cat book and do some activities with us. This morning, we have <clears throat> Pete the Cat in his magic sunglasses. Did you bring your sunglasses today? Miss Pitts and I both have ours on. All right, this story is written by Kimberly and James Dean, and they also illustrated it. Look, there's cool Pete riding down the street on his uh, skateboard. Pete the cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. Have you ever felt just a little sad? Sometimes we say we feel blue when we feel just a little sad. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Do you think that's going to help Pete feel better? But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Wow, those glasses did help. Let's see what happens. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Uh -oh. Squirrel's having some big feelings. Yes, he is. Pete said, <clears throat> excuse me, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Do you think those sunglasses can help Squirrel? I hope so. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Wow, they worked on Squirrel too. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. 
Soon, he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. Boy, that looks like a pretty frustrating predicament he's in right now. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Well, I think we've all felt sad like that. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Rockin'! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Oh, I wonder if he's going to get blue again. I hope not. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Pete looked around <clears throat> without his sunglasses. Too cool. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. We're feeling all right. And he's back to his cool, grooving self again. Wow, we saw a lot of big feelings in this book. And I know I have big feelings sometimes, and I'm sure you do too. And sometimes it's hard to control those big feelings. Pete, he used the magic sunglasses to help him and his friends <clears throat> manage all those big feelings that they had. But there's other ways we can manage big feelings too. Okay, let's look back, hold on. Let's look back at the story and see what happened first. Who was having big feelings first in the story? Pete was having big feelings. Pete did, he was feeling blue. And who did he run into next? Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad had some big feelings. Oops. And then he ran into Squirrel, who had those big mad feelings. And what was next? Turtle. Oh, remember Turtle? He was so frustrated that he was stuck upside down. Frustrated is a hard feeling to deal with. And then finally, he met Sad Alligator. Boy, Miss Pitts, can you think of a time that you felt sad or frustrated? Yes, I can. Those are hard to manage. But we have ways at home and at school that we can manage our feelings. When you feel scared or anxious, sad, or frustrated, disappointed, 
or sometimes we even feel calm. We can do all kinds of things to help us calm down. And this is a strategy we use at school, but you can use it at home too. We can use our different types of breathing, our star breathing, our balloon breathing, our drain breath, <clears throat> our pretzel breathing, or we can do activities that make us uh, calm down and feel better, like read a book or draw a picture. We can sing an I love you ritual, or we can talk to someone just like Pete talked to his friends and shared things with them to help them handle their big feelings. Well, one thing we're going to do today to help us with big feelings is we're going to make sensory bottles. We have these at school, but they're so easy to make at home. All right, to make a sensory bottle, You'll just need different kinds of plastic water bottles. Make sure they're clean and dry. <clears throat> You'll need warm water. It doesn't need to be too hot because you don't want to melt your bottle, but just warm out of the faucet should be good enough. You'll need things to put in your bottle like glitter, pom-poms, um, buttons, rice, water. I made this at home the other day and it's just got things I found in my yard like flowers and acorns and leaves, and I just put it in the bottle, shake it up, and watch the bubbles move, and it helps calm me down. So today we're going to make a bottle that doesn't have any liquid in it first. This one, we're just going to take a bottle, and I brought some glitter. Bear with me because Miss Helton is not a glitter fan. <laughs> of course, the bottle doesn't open. All right, just a little bit of glitter. All right, and then I found some objects around my classroom. I found buttons and shapes. So if you'll help me, yes, kind of push them down in there. Uh oh, <laughs> we lost that one. Oh, cool. Buttons like we talked about yesterday. This is totally a peak kind of bottle. And then once you have whatever you want in there, then you put your filler in. I brought rice to put in this one. So we don't make too big of a mess, we're going to use this funnel. I'm sure you've seen those in your classroom. You kind of tap it a little bit to make it go down. All right, we're going to give the bottle a little swirl to kind of mix everything up. All of our cool stuff isn't stuck at the bottom. You hear that cool sound it makes? All right, let's put some more in there. Okay. We get all that in there. Once you get everything you want in the bottle, you have to have your parents help for this one. We're going to need a hot glue gun or some Gorilla Glue or something like that that's going to keep the lid on so you don't make a big mess if the top comes off. And you just shake it around. And the more you use it and shake it, the better it'll work. That's cool, Miss Hilton. Okay. And then... This one's going to be really neat. For this one, I brought some glitter glue. Miss Pitts, will you squeeze that down in there when I get the rest ready? The whole thing? Mm-hmm. The whole thing. Oh, this one's going to be pretty. I like red. Mm. 
you can. And here's some more. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of vegetable glycerin to help, help it not stick to the bottom. And you don't need a whole lot. Just like two or three fingers at the bottom of the bottle will be plenty. And then we're going to add some regular glitter because it's kind of neat to see different sizes of glitter float around in the bottle. And then we've got a variety of objects to put in there. Again, different shapes. And I even bought some, oh, some colored pasta that we did at school one time. And once you get as much as you want in there, that's good. Okay. We'll add some warm water to the bottle. And we're going to put my lid on and I'm going to swirl it around to kind of get the glitter so it doesn't all stick at the bottom. That looks good. That looks awesome. So we're gonna fill it up the rest of the way with water. I got stocked some more just in case. We might should have used the funnel for this part too. And we'll leave a little bit of room at the top so it has room to move, okay? And then you just shake it up and you can watch everything move and float in the bottle. And again, you'll want to have mom or dad or an adult use either a hot glue gun or some Gorilla Glue or something to make sure that this doesn't come off because if this spilt in your house, ooh. Well, mama would be very frustrated. She would have some big <laughs> feelings of her own and we don't want mama to have any more messes to clean than she already does. So I hope you can make some sensory bottles at home so you have some ways to help with your big feelings, okay? We have a song that we're gonna do <clears throat> all about feelings and I bet everybody knows this one. All right, you ready, Miss Pitt? I'm ready. If, if you're, you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stomp your feet. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, say, oh no. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no. If you're sleepy, 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 take a nap. If you're sleepy, 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 take a nap. If you're sleepy, 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 take a nap, take a nap. If you're sleepy, 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 take a nap. Are you ready to wake back up? I am. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. 
Well, I feel much better after singing and moving a little bit. I do too. That was awesome. That was. All right. Well, we talked about some big feelings today, so I hope that next time you have some big feelings, you remember Pete and his friends and what they did to help them manage their big feelings. And we're getting close to the end of our time, so we're going to ask Miss Peavy's here today. She's going to come back up here with us. And Miss Hilton and Miss Kitts are having some big feelings today because Miss Peavy has decided that she's going to retire. And today is her last day with us as a pre K teacher. Yes. Boys and girls and parents, um, I just want to thank you all for. 26 years and the quarantine did not do me in. I had already <laughs> decided to retire before we went on to quarantine. But what a way to uh, tell everybody goodbye um, or see you later. It won't be goodbye. I'll, you'll be seeing me around, I'm sure. Um, just maybe not in the classroom. So, um, and I do have some big feelings. I'm happy and sad because I'm gonna be missing my friends. And I love you, Miss Reese. Miss Reese is right there. She's throwing us kisses from a distance. And so, um, what a way to end an era on TV. And who knows? I kind of like being on TV. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just might, uh, you just might see me around. Do you, you guys want to wish them well? Yes. Y'all can wish yeah. me well. Yes. We're going to wish Miss Peavy well <laughs> and you at home well and all of the teachers out there and administrators who are trying to wrap up the year, okay? So, right. you ready? We wish you well. We wish you well. All throughout the day today, we wish you well. We'll all give a cheer. We'll all give a cheer. All throughout the day today, we'll all give a cheer. Yay! Yay. We love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.